C-H-D-O in the house. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this is a little bit of a different video today, obviously. I'm standing in my super awesome bathroom and the lights are the always awesome, super amazing yellow bathroom lights. I really need to get these changed because I could maybe film in here if I really wanted to, I guess. Anyway, um, I just filmed a couple videos for you guys, and as you can see, I've got the remnants of some makeup and some loveliness going on, and I recently picked up the makeup eraser from Sephora. I have heard amazing things about this little guy. I will tell you right now that it is very soft and very luxurious feeling. It reminds me of like, I don't know, cashmere or something like that. So we are going to put it to the test because I don't really use makeup wipes. These are the only makeup wipes I own. I've had these for like, I would say five months probably. And there's 30 cloths in here. These are the Philosophy Purity Made Simple Makeup Wipes. They are the only ones that I will use now because makeup wipes are not very good for your face, especially if you have dry skin like me. I wouldn't recommend using makeup wipes. I would, however, recommend using Bioderma. This is the Hydrabiol H2O. This is for drier skinned ladies like myself. As you can see, I need to uh, I need to get a big one. I think I might get like the biggest one they have because I really, really like this. I don't know what took me so long to try it, but I finally did and I really like it. So I would recommend those things. So I thought, you know what, if this is really amazing, I really need to try it. So that's what we're here to do today. We're going to see how good it takes off your makeup. So let's just get right into it, shall we? First it says wash, which I did prior. It's all washed and it's still fuzzy and lovely though after I washed it, which is awesome. Then number two says wet portion of makeup eraser, drenched wet, use warm water. All right, so here we go. Okay, number three. Gently rub off makeup in a circular motion, then flip eraser on long nap side. All right then. So, I guess this is the nap side with the tag of my leggy. So it says to gently remove, oh crap, that wasn't, I didn't get that wet enough. It did say like drenching wet, so hopefully this is okay. Okay, so circular motions. Hmm. Oh, that was pretty good. Man, I think the pink one would probably show up. <laughs> the makeup that you're taking off. Okay, well, obviously it would show up more than the black one. <laughs> ready to go. It feels really good, like it doesn't, I don't know about like liquid lipstick, it kind of, I kind of feel like I still have remnants of liquid lipstick on my face a little bit. This was fairly easy and my skin doesn't feel like dry and tight and gross. Okay, and then it says uh, gently blah 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 and then flip it around to exfoliate. I don't really know if this is exfoliating. Ew, it feels like, can you see like, it's like coming off in little black bitties. Okay, okay, that's annoying. Blip. Okay, now, just to see how well she did. 
I'm going to tape one of my... Man, why is that black stuff coming out? I mean, I... I washed it. Ugh! Maybe I need to wash it again. I don't know. That's probably why they say to wash it first. <laughs> okay, so I didn't take off of all my mascara, but I probably didn't... I probably didn't, um wipe enough around my eyes, I will admit that, but, um, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes you need that makeup remover, like, cleanser to really get mascara off your lashes, and I feel like, yeah, like, I did wipe it, but there's still a huge amount. And this is the thing about these cute purity claws that I really like, like, I can literally, like, stick them in my eye. <laughs> and they don't hurt. They're the only makeup wipe that doesn't hurt my skin. So besides the make, or besides the mascara though, it took off. There was a little bit on my ears, but that's pretty normal. There's always something hiding in there. <laughs> Foundation, I mean. But other than that, yeah, it seemed to take everything off. There was a few of the foundation remnants, but that was again from like my ears. Um, I will obviously keep using it for sure. This maybe wasn't the greatest first impression, <laughs> but I think what I'll do is I'll wash it again. I don't know if maybe it just got a little bit like that's why I was getting those black flaky things or whatever. I would assume, but I will wash it and I will definitely keep you posted if you would like. Um, I forgot to say, it is $20 sold at Sephora or on their website at MakeupEraser.com, I believe. I will double check and it will be in the description box. <laughs> Something I probably should have looked at first. And death. It is also available in pink, like I said, and you can wash it and reuse it over and over and over. So, environment-wise, this is a much greener, this is a much, 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 much greener option than using makeup wipes or even using Bioderma because you do need to use little wiping cloths and this does eventually run out and you have to repurchase where this would be a much greener makeup removal system. So for that, I definitely do recommend checking it out. And it is only 20 bucks. It took off my makeup extremely easy. I didn't have any, it didn't pull or tug like makeup wipes can. Um, yeah, no, it's very soft. I didn't have to work very hard. Like I didn't have to like, even with makeup wipes, when you take off stuff, you have to like, Ugh! I didn't have to do that. This basically just like very easily and when you're constantly tugging on your skin um, that does lead to wrinkles, sagging, aging altogether which nobody wants that. Everybody wants, you know, father time to stay very far at bay. You know? Okay, I'm definitely gonna rewash this again. Um, I think that's why the little black fuzzy wuzzies are coming off. But this is me and my bare face. Let's put some uh, Rodial on it. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Never open your mouth whilst putting a spray on your face, kids. That was so stupid. This is the Rodial Dragon's Blood Hyaluronic Tonic. I really like this. It's very plumping and lovely to your skin. And then I like to go in with my La Roche Posay Tolerane Ultra. And I use a lot. Yeah. This has helped with my eczema and rosacea. Like, it's crazy. But it still moisturizes my face, which took me forever to find a product that did that. Because either something moisturized my face but then it irritated all of the redness I had, so, yeah. It was a bit of a struggle trying to find something that worked perfectly for me, but I finally did, and I could not be happier about it. So guys, um, 
I hope you enjoyed this quick little review on the makeup eraser amazing. May the force be with you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye!